what's going on guys today we're going to show you how to install the bagging system on the Toro Z Master mower so uh, this is everything you get a bunch of boxes heavy boxes like 600 pounds of boxes uh, and yeah so we're going to show you uh, how to put this thing together and hopefully this helps you so uh let's get this unboxed and get to working all right guys so the first thing you're going to want to do is we're going to pull this bracket right here and it is a 14 millimeter and then we're going to pull our pulley which is 14 millimeter three bolts here and we're going to pull that off uh all right so next you're going to take a 3 8 ratchet and you're going to undo you're going to put it on your pulley assembly here and you're going to undo your deck belt and that is going to be your next step and then we're going to move to this pulley right here all right so uh since this mowing deck has these three bolts right here all we have to do is loosen them up to install the second pulley for the bagging system now if we didn't have these three bolts we would have to pull this big bolt right here and install uh, and install a piece that has that comes up through the bottom with these three bolts but since we have these, we don't. We can skip that step. All we got to do is loosen these up. Once again, 14 millimeter. Just going to loosen them up to where we can put the new pulley on. I'm going to show you this uh, new pulley here. <clears throat> yeah. So here's the here's the piece you would install if you did not have these on your deck. But since we have that, we don't have to do it. And what happens is this pulley right here has these three slots so once you loosen these nuts up on this then as you can tell you're going to slide this over and then twist it and then uh, we're going to tighten these up to uh, 19 to 25 foot pounds of torque so All right, guys, so as you're torquing this down, you will need something to hold the blade uh, in place. Spindle. Uh, so your spindle. So as he's doing, he's got boots on, uh, but he's got his boot down there against the blade so he can keep it from moving, so he can tighten it up to torque it. Um, you're just going to have to torque it with, you know, pretty much as tight as you can get it with a wrench. That's pretty much going to be your... Uh, 21 to 25 pounds because it's just pretty much tight and now we're going to put the belt back on next step is installing this bracket which is going to go behind this part right here and then there's two bolts that slide through and hold that on and then you're going to tighten that up all right, so to tighten this bracket up, you're going to need a 7 16 ratchet or wrench. A ratchet does work, as you can tell. So now we're going to start at the back of the mower. All right, so the first step of installing the actual bagger part is we're going to remove these fenders here and on this back side as well. So both sides do have to come off this side and this side all right so these bolts that we're uninstalling that go here see here these two 
the back side. So we've got to take this off. We've got to pull from up here as well. So we're pulling this whole bumper off here and the other side, 15 millimeters, what you're going to need. All right, so if you notice, this is the one that came off pretty hollow there. And we are exchanging it with the bumper that came with the kit, pretty much reinforced. So it's not hollow, way better reinforced to uh, hold the weight of the bagger. All right guys, so now that we got the bumpers installed, this piece right here goes on and it goes in from the back and then your nut goes on the front of this. All right, now we're gonna tighten these up. These are a 19 millimeter. This is what you should have. It is your new bumpers on both sides, and then this part. Now move it on. All right. So next, we're going to put this bottom bracket right here on, and we're going to be using these three eighths by quarter or by inch and a quarter long bolts on this. You're going to need four, two for one for each side right here, and then. One is going to go underneath this into the frame and same as on the other sides. All right, so now these four are tightened. So they will go from the inside out and your nuts will be on the outside of every one of these. And then one right there. And as you can tell, this faces downward you can see it better on this side. So this is the flat part here. And now, clamshell slides on. All right, so you pull your cotter pins, these big pins out, slide it into the bottom. As you noticed on the other side, you pretty much have to lay this flat down so you can get it to slide into this bracket right here then you lift the whole thing up and then you slide your pins in push your uh slide your pins in like he's doing now and that's what keeps this whole thing right here in place is these pins so if you pull these pins then uh this whole thing will fall forth. So you can pull this out of the bracket there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the bags in now. So there's a bracket here. I'll show you this bracket. Cause all these do is just pull out. So there's this bracket right here. And all this bracket does is slide down into this and sit down on it. So when you go to reinstall them, you just kind of whoop. And these bags back down there. These bags sit on these. Yep. <clears throat> and then the bags sit on these brackets right here. So, so we've got our muffler here. We've got them two bracket holes right here and here. So this is going to slide on, and then you'll bolt it up like that. All right, now we got the muffler deflector on. So two bolts, once again, one up here, one down below. And as you can tell, here's the bagger. It shoots this exhaust out and back more toward the front of the engine. So next, we're gonna get the blower part of this and you're gonna have to get the belt. going to run the belt around these pulleys and that's step one of this uh, when we go to put this on this is how your belt should be run it's going to go around that back pulley then completely open here so then it's going to go around this pulley just like this and then this part is going to go around that pulley so I just want to show you how this belt should go 
just like this before we turn this over to slide it on here. Now that we got this put on, we're going to put these in. And we'll just lock in like that. <clears throat> Pull your belt back. And yeah, it'll go now. And uh, we're on. Ta-da! Now, now you've got your tension here. So this spring right here is yeah. whoop. Spring right. <laughs> Get on this end. Spring right there gives you your tension for it. Now we're gonna put this one back on. Bottom belt back on. Alright, now we got this belt back on. All the belts are back on. And now, moving on to the next step. So we're going to tighten these up a little bit to, as you can tell how loose they are. So we're going to tighten these up a little bit so they actually pulls it closer and makes it a little snugger. All right, getting closer to the end of this. We've still got the front cover to put on here, but now we're moving on to the tubes. All right, guys, so the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, put your tubing on. And then you're going to take your clam shell and you're going to make sure that you're sticking in this tube is sticking inside your clam shell about three quarters of an inch to an inch. Uh, no, you probably don't want it no more than an inch. Uh, make sure your seal is outside like this. And then you're going to drill two holes and they've got them marked for you. The holes that you're going to drill. You're going to use a 7 30 seconds drill bit and then once you do that you're going to take it off and as you can see chad <clears throat> you've got to reach up in here and you've got to take these uh smaller the smaller you got one of them on you oh, these right here <clears throat> so you're going to take these small the smallest ones in the package pretty much and uh, you're going to put them through from the inside. Then you're going to put a washer and a lock nut. So you've got an 8 millimeter on the inside, 10 millimeter on the outside. All right. And we got our front cover here that covers up all of this. And pretty much that bracket you put in down here is what this is going to screw into. Just like that. So now this is what it should look like. There's your bracket. All right, so now we got all of this done. We're going to show you the weight kits. All right, so you slide your weight on, and then we got a pin, and the pin's going to go through this hole right here, all the way across. All right guys, so once you've got this on, uh, this bolt right here that goes through, see if we can show you that. Um, so you're pretty much just going to, you're gonna loosen this nut right here at the bottom, all the way to the top of this. And then, whoo, and then you're gonna tighten this until it touches your frame here. And then you're gonna tighten, lower this bottom nut and tighten it. And that's going to work for both your weights here and over there. So these weights will not be completely flat uh, against the top of the frame. They will be crooked just like this. So don't expect them to uh, be flat because, because there's such a big gap between here and the bottom of your frame. So you're not gonna get that because if you tighten this nut, then it's just pushing this upward to where it's just literally gonna make it more crooked pretty much if that makes sense to you all right guys so next we're going to do our weights here there's three of these one's going to go here one's going to go in the very center and one's going to go right here and uh, you would think with this notch being cut out this would be your right weight but all the weights are exactly the same so it does not matter where they go all right guys, so how these go on is once you get your weight up here, you're gonna have these, and it's gonna be just like this with a flat washer 
then your lock washer, then you slide that down, then you'll put the nut on the other side, which is this right here, and then you will tighten them. So we'll show you here. Here's this one. There's that. There we go. Drop it on my hand. I got it. Alright, started. So all these are going to be 14 millimeters, so you're just going to want to either a wrench uh, on one side, you could use a ratchet on the other side, it really ain't going to matter. Um, and then you just want to tighten these up. With all this red, you would think this is sponsored by Milwaukee. <clears throat> Milwaukee, you listening? All right, now we have a bracket that's going to go along the bottom side of these weights. All right, so next is installing this bracket right here. So you put this up there and you have three bolts that go all the way across. Once again, the bolts drill. Uh, there are drilled into these weights. So you have a flat washer your lock washer, then the uh, bolt itself, and you put that bracket on, and then there's two more bolts that are going to go up into uh, the frame right here, and tighten that. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the installation of the Toro Easy Back system on the Toro Z Master. So, uh, this is for the non my ride system. Of course, the my ride system has a couple extra steps, but most everything seems to be pretty much the same. So uh, hopefully this helps you if you plan on installing one of these. This was my first time installing one as well. So figured I would make a video and show you how to exactly do this. So uh, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, Feel free to comment down below and I will see you in the next one.